Hi, I'm Aaron at Papercut. Today, I'm going to introduce you to one of our time-saving tools, Print Deploy. Print Deploy simplifies the process of managing and deploying print queues. It ensures that the right print queues are automatically delivered to the right people in the right location at the right time. Let's start by looking from the administrator's perspective. We log into Papercut NG or MF. We click on Enable Printing, and that takes us to the Print Deploy tab. There's a cute little animated video, which we're going to skip today. And then this drops us into the Your Zones view. Right now, what we have is just the default zone that's set up. And as you can see, there's no printers connected to the zone. We have to get some print queues into Print Deploy to make this look interesting. So we're going to click on the Print Queues tab. And then from there, we're going to click the button that says Add Print Queues. There are two ways to add printers. In this video, I'm going to show you both methods. And then at the end, I'll explain when you might want to use one or the other. Right now, I'm downloading the Cloner tool. This is an impressive piece of software that will take all the print queues, drivers, and settings from a specific computer and import them into Print Deploy so that we can quote unquote clone them onto another machine. The next step will be to copy this executable over to a Windows machine where I'm going to run it and start cloning drivers. I've prepared a virtual machine with a few queues already set up with different drivers. You may already have a user workstation or print server that you can use for this. Make sure not to rename the file. The file name includes the IP address of your server and a connection key. If you rename it, the cloner might not be able to connect to the server. On the reference computer, run the cloner executable and press enter. This tool will detect your queues, including the driver and default settings, and let you know when it's done. At that point, you can shut down the reference computer and then return to the admin interface. Back on the server, refresh the page, and your queues appear, each one marked with a Windows icon showing that they're compatible with Windows devices. The second method is import BYOD-friendly print queues. This option directs you to start importing mobility print printers. Check our YouTube channel as we have another video which explains how to set that up. Follow the prompts to search for a mobility print server, and then we select the printers we want to import. After I click Import Selected, I can go back to the Print Queues section and see my newly added printers. Here are two very important things to note. Imported print queues from Mobility Print are compatible with Windows, Mac, Chrome, and Linux systems. But they also use generic print drivers, meaning that they won't support advanced finishing options like hole punch or other fancy features. So if you want those options, it's best to stick to cloning your drivers. The next step will be to add these printers to some zones. Back in the zones section, I'm going to select the everyone zone and add a couple printers. I check the printers that I want to add and click connect to zone. I can click on the three dots next to each printer to see some additional options. Let's make one of these printers an optional install and set another one as the default printer. To finalize this zone, I click Save and Deploy. I want to set up another zone, this time one that delivers special printers to users only in the staff group. On the zone screen, I click Add Zone. I'm going to give my zone a name, but I can also choose a user-friendly display name for the zone as well. Under Filters, we can choose to set up our zone so that it only applies to certain users, network ranges, or computer names. I'm going to select the staff group, which is automatically pulled in by my user group sync settings in Papercut. To make our zone useful, we're going to add a couple printers. Now, only the users in our staff group will have access to these exclusive printers. To get things up and running, I'm going to download the Windows client and install this on a PC. So I click Clients, then Download Print Deploy Clients. I choose Windows, and then I can see an article pop up with instructions along with the MSI added to my Downloads folder. Over to my user's computer, you can see I've copied the installer to my downloads folder. Importantly, this installer contains the IP address or host name of my print deploy server in square brackets to know where to find the print deploy server. 
This keeps the installation light with no need for configuration files or scripts, but it also means you can't delete this part of the file name. I double click on it to run, then next, and then finish. Once completed, the print deploy client icon appears in the taskbar where I can choose to view my printers. In this scenario, I've set things up to require the user to enter a username and password, but in certain environments, I could have set things up to skip that step or even use Google or Enter ID for authentication. After I enter my username and password, I click Sign In and Add Printers. As you can see, one printer is automatically installed because of our zone settings. We can also navigate to Add Printers and select any optional printers to install. This user is not in the staff group, so they don't see the printers from the exclusive zone we set up earlier. To test things out, let's open up printers and scanners in Windows to see our installed printer and send a test page to make sure that it's being tracked by Papercut. In the sidebar, there's also a help link, which opens to a help page on our website by default, but this can be customized to your own support portal, for example. The last thing to see in the Print Deploy client is the Change User button. This will sign out the user, which they might want to do if this is a shared workstation. Before this video wraps up, I wanted to circle back on one topic. Is it better to clone print drivers or import them from Mobility Print? Of course, that depends on what your needs are. Clone printers if you need to deploy a specific driver, for example, to support stapling or hole punch. Or if you mainly support one operating system like macOS or Windows. But keep in mind, you'll need to maintain a reference computer for each operating system. Import mobility printers if generic options like duplex and color printing are enough. If you support a mix of operating systems including Chrome OS because you won't be able to clone those drivers. Or if you don't want to manage a reference computer, choose the setup that fits your environment best. Whether you're cloning drivers from a reference computer or importing mobility print queues for a BYOD setup, Print Deploy gives you flexible options to match your environment. It's all about reducing complexity and helping people print without the fuss. If you have questions or need help, reach out to your PaperCut partner or support team.